All right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have, I think this Jeep is a 2013 Jeep JK 3.6 liter. So we pulled the Nag 1 out, put a uh, 845 RFE out of a Dodge Ram truck, 3.6 liter and full wheel drive. So we put this transmission in and this is what I do every time we put a tranny in. I know not everyone can do this, but it seems to help. So I'll take the scan tool. I'll go to transmission. I'll go to miscellaneous functions. Now, as you can see on the heading up there, 2016 Dodge Challenger 3.6 liter, because that's what we flash the valve body as. Now, this is what I do with every transmission when after we get done with it is reset the adaptations it's always good before you go drive it continue test complete then we go drive it so then we teach the transmission now how to operate so you gotta drive it like a little old lady with an egg on the gas pedal drive it really nice and this thing will learn how to shift so you don't drive it like you stole it you know, you drive it around, light throttle, light shifting, and drive it really easy for about 30 miles. And then the transmission should learn how to shift. Now, remember, when you put these trays in, you change the tranny pan, you go through them all. They're going to use, you know, right before you get it started, you put in four quarts. Then when you get it running you put in another four to five quarts running in park and then you drive it around you come back get the train up to temp you come back then you train check the transmission fluid again at 100 degrees and most of the time they take another half a quart so usually eight to nine quarts of transmission fluid has been average and this one's obviously cold so we got to go drive it around so we can learn the transmission on how to shift because it has no idea. So it'll do weird slipping and whatever stuff. Uh, but when you reset it adaptations, it will start fresh and it'll work perfectly. All right. Guess what? Jeep Speed Shop out.